everyone. Um, okay, so I know this is a little late, but um, I was debating on whether I should even do my June favorites or not because it's really, really small. Um, all I have is brushes and an eyeshadow. Like, that's it. Um, I don't know. I guess I just haven't been really impressed by um, anything that I've been using right this or anything that I've been using this month. Um, so, I mean, I don't know. I guess I'll do it, just because. Um, Alright, so let's get right into it. This will be really short. Um, so, with makeup brushes, the first one is this. It's an Eco Tools um, little Buki brush. Kabuki brush. Um, it's kind of small, like that, but I really like it. Um, it does take me a little longer to use it, but it's so soft, um, feels so nice on my skin, um, and it really, like, it applies the powder really, really nice. So, I really like this. Um, I like that it is small, though, at the same time, because um, the pressed powder that I use is, in, is like a sample one, and it's like in a small container. I showed it in my um, May Favorites. Yeah, May Favorites. Um, so, this gets in there really nice. So, yeah. Alright, so the next thing is actually this. Okay, it's another Eco's Tool brush. Um, they're all Eco Tools brushes. I love Eco Tools. Um, but this, I always thought, you know, I'm never going to use this. It's kind of a pointless brush. Well, um, I, whenever my um, eyelashes get clumpy, I've been using this side, this comb side, a lot lately. And then this side, this um, brush side, um, I never knew like what to use it for. But my eyebrows are very stubborn. <laughs> very stubborn eyebrows. So I have to use this to kind of like groom them and put them the way I want them. Like, yeah. And it's helped a lot. Um, Thank goodness that I have this because my eyebrows have been hating me this month. And, um, yeah, so this puts them into place. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, and the next one is this EcoTools concealer brush. Now, I don't use um, a concealer brush to conceal my blemishes. I just use my finger um, because it heats it up more and, I don't know, I feel like I have more control and it covers it better. And it doesn't leave it streaky. Um... But what I've been using this for is, like, when um, I'm done doing my eyeshadow, I use this to, like, clean it up, like, under my eyes if I have any fallout. Or, like, to do this, um, here, I'll try and show you. To do this little line right here. Oops. <laughs> to do this, like, line right here to, so it's not, like, all coming out of the sides of my eyes. Um, so, yeah, that's what I've been using this for, so. This has been coming in handy. Um, the next brush, this is like one of my all-time favorite brushes. Um, again, Eco Tools. It's the um, blending brush, and it's a short one. It's uh, from the travel kit or something like that. But anyway, it's the blending brush, and yes, this is dirty. Um, I did use it today, but I use this like all the time. I love this brush. It's so soft, and like it really blends really well. Um, the color on my eyes and I love it. Love, 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 love. Love this brush. It's like one of my favorites. And then for the eyeshadow. This is CoverGirl eyeshadow. Looks like that. And this is in... And this is in French Vanilla. And it's, um... It's not showing the right color. I don't know why, but it's like um, a cream color and it's got shimmers in it and yeah, it's just really nice. I've been using this for my highlight a lot lately and I actually have been using the applicator that it comes with. Now normally I don't, but I don't know, I feel like it's um, just the right size to get right, right um, under the eyebrow. So yeah, I like this one. And that is it. <laughs> Very short. Okay. Um, well, hopefully my July favorites has more substance to it. And um, hopefully I like more things <laughs> than I regret. So, yeah. All right. Well, I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.